So I'm going to show you how I mark up a 60 minute chart to find some potent levels to be aware of for the trading day. I'm a big fan of using the volume profile. I've got this one from Ninza, the flexible market profile. It allows me to use this region highlight drawing tool. I can use this region drawing tool and it will print out a volume profile for any selected range. But what I'm doing is getting these daily volume profiles. I'm just drawing in between these silver lines on the chart. This is the day break. I know there's easier ways to do it and there's indicators that automatically just load the daily profiles but this is the tool I have so that's how I'm doing it but basically I'm just going back and doing this for a few of the days going back about a week or so so now you can see I've got the point of control for each day and that's the level where the most volume was traded for that particular day so these are really potent levels where a lot of people have traded in the past and in my experience they're beneficial to pay attention to so now that I have all these point of controls from the previous days on my chart I'm gonna go back and add horizontal lines lines to all the different point of controls now if there's one like this where it's pretty much the exact same level I'll just go right in between it so there I've got all my lines from September 12th back to September 5th and we're looking at the trading day of September 13th right now I'm also just gonna make this attached to all of the NQ charts so for every horizontal line I'm just gonna attach it to all the charts so I've got my 60 minute chart over here and then I've got my one minute chart it's got all the exact same levels that I just posted on the 60 minute chart they're now appearing on the one minute chart as well and I've only got two indicators on the one minute chart the volume delta per candlestick and then I've got this histogram that's painting a special version of the cumulative delta and it's also painting this background. The cumulative delta indicator that Ninza has is a little bit different than regular cumulative delta indicators. It's not just measuring the cumulative delta for the entire day. You can set it to look back a certain amount of bars the cumulative delta indicator is also painting the candlestick colors. So we've just been pretty much flatline right on this point of control line that we drew from one of the previous days. You can see how price is drawn to these levels. So you can see at the London Open, our cumulative delta is green. It's printing these green candles, the green background. And then we get a nice move right up to this next point of control level and just bounce down rejected you can see price really honoring these point of control levels that's why I like to use them we got a lot of Delta coming in and we get a little retracement and a bounce back up something I'm noticing in this chart right here price is moving higher but our cumulative delta histogram is lower so we've got some divergence there anytime I see divergence I'm on the lookout for a possible change in direction uh, we do get that change in direction our cumulative delta turns bearish and I don't just take these signals right when they print the delta to the downside you know I'm looking for Ideally some order flow bar delta that's coming in really hot to the downside as well if I'm in a downtrend. Or here we've got cumulative delta still red and we're approaching the point of control line that we drew before the day even started. 
and once again this point of control line held got a nice 25 point move down so here's market open we've got our cumulative delta bullish and on the first opening candle we get a nice big chunk of volume delta coming in on this candlestick and it closes above this point of control line that we had drawn great place to get in long right there and you'll notice it travels up pretty much exactly to the next point of control line that we drew before the day even started you can you can see why it's important to pay attention to these levels had a nice retracement right back to the previous point of control line we do have some negative delta coming in here but cumulative delta is still green on that candle we did not break below the point of control line uh, we did here but there's no follow through in the delta the delta dried up to the downside there's like nothing coming in on this next candle we have some delta return to the upside uh, it does make its way up to the point of control line here we get some more major negative downside delta but so far it's just a mixed bag if you look to your left you got green red green green red so we kind of stay in this range when it's just up and down like that with the delta but nevertheless these are some bigger delta coming in on these candlesticks and as price is moving higher and higher here look at the histogram on the cumulative delta the histogram is going lower so we're getting some divergence so again when I'm seeing divergence I'm on the lookout for a potential reversal so we keep moving down we get our cumulative delta turning bearish finally but again I'm not just taking this signal just because it prints the delta with the down and the arrow because look at our volume delta for the candles there's like zero zero delta coming in either direction and it's been a pretty mixed bag all morning with a little bit of green a little bit of red green green red green red and when it breaks this point of control line to the downside you know i really want to see some strong delta coming in on that bar you know like like this bar i want to see a lot of strong delta coming in when it's breaking one of these point of control lines so we continue to stay range bound i would not be interested in this little blip to the upside in the delta because our cumulative delta is still negative we're coming back up to this point of control line we have drawn our histogram is still lower than it was back here so this candle though we break below the point of control not much delta coming in nothing to inspire me yet but we're breaking below this point of control line so i'm on the lookout for something in this next candle we get an incredible amount of delta to the downside all systems go we've got our cumulative delta negative and we've got a decent amount of room down to our next point of control line it's like a over a 15 point drop right there you can see price is honoring our point of control line once again price bounced right off this point of control line right back up to the close of this candle where all the delta came in and then it continued its trend further south so here we had our price continue lower and lower but check out the cumulative delta histogram it's higher price is lower histogram is higher and you can look for divergences with all different kinds of indicators but cumulative delta is definitely one of my favorite to look for divergences especially this version the ninza version just because it's uh, looking back only a certain amount of bars it's not for the entire day so I find it's helpful on the shorter term time frames like the one minute um, our background is not printing strong bearish or bullish 
just in in the in-between state if you had some other reasons to justify this trade you know it's looking pretty decent 374 on this candle for the delta that's pretty good and it's breaking above this point of control line with some pretty strong delta that would be an arguably decent trade opportunity but here we get our cumulative delta officially turn bullish and we get a ton of delta on the candlestick here we are coming up right to this point of control level so we're wondering if it's gonna get rejected or push through um, it does push through point of control line that we've drawn we've got all this nice delta coming in I honestly don't know if I would take that trade or not though just because we've been coming down for most of the morning I would be wondering is this just a little retracement before we head back down or what but at this point 10 30 uh, some big moves happen right at 10 30 quite often we get a, another bunch of Delta coming in this trade I would have been much more interested in our second wave of strong Delta we got a nice close above our point of control line you know, targeting this next point of control line there's another 20 points and it kept going up a little bit longer and you'll notice again that price is going higher but our cumulative delta histogram is going down so more divergence here and we do get a little retracement here to the downside a little bit of a negative delta coming in broke above this point of control came down a little bit but this is the time of the day when I'm done so so yeah drawing these point of control lines from the previous days can offer you some very valuable support and resistance levels and any kind of delta or order flow indicators that you have you can use in conjunction with these point of control lines really any kind of system that you have I mean these are just very helpful support and resistance lines if you want to see some of the settings that I've been using in this video the volume delta indicator this is for the Nasdaq one minute chart for the positive strong threshold 400 moderate 250 and same for the negative uh, with a minus sign minus 400 and minus 250 got the ribbon displayed I've changed the colors to my liking you can change the ribbon height the opacity to whatever you like I've changed the marker colors to my liking and I've also changed the font size to something that I find visually agreeable and I highly recommend you playing around with all these indicators and customizing them to your own specific needs and to the instrument and time frame that you are trading. So the ideal settings for the positive strong, moderate, negative strong, and negative moderate will be very very different depending on what you are trading, what instrument you are trading, what time frame you are trading, you know, there's a big difference between a one minute and a three minute and a five minute. Uh, there'd be a big difference if you're trading a Rinko or a volume. You'll just have to play around with it and figure out what works best for your particular instrument and time frame. The cumulative delta indicator, I did not change any of this. All I did was disable this, uh, disable the moving median. All I've got enabled is the plot difference, which is this histogram. And I changed the colors to something I like. I changed the bar colors to something I like. Left the backgrounds the same. And the only alert condition that I have activated is the trend start. I also changed the marker, altered the words a little bit and I changed the colors. Again, I highly recommend 
fully investigating these indicator parameters yourself and customizing them into a beautiful piece of artwork that you have made yourself. And the difference is set to match data series width.